he said, what is it with the young people? And, and we just laughed. And then he said to everybody in the room, listen to the young man. That's just what he said. Now, this was like a high-level person at AT&T. You would never think he would have that kind of flexibility and humility. Yep. But he did. So it's a lesson. Winning player. A lesson I never forgot. I believe in it the most. Like nothing, never forgot nothing it. makes me happier than being wrong. But I always I think I'm right. But Gary, if I wasn't prepared Please. and didn't have the self-confidence. You would have it, never said it. I would have never said it. I totally get it, brother. I would have just moved my into man, the conversation. My man, honestly, the, like, as somebody who always thinks there's a second game in the room, this is basically how I live my life. The amount I know about executives that work for me, clients, co-founders, fancy people in the world that people think are brilliant, the amount of things I know by asking a singular question in a meeting right. The amount of times I've made up something to see if that person just agrees to appease the city. Like, it's the most important, you have to get, when you are sitting in a world where you walk in one minute before a meeting and you've gotta like navigate that much and time is your biggest enemy, you you have to create all these secondary skill sets to be able to understand the situation at hand. I have an incredible read on humans based on moments like that. (laughs) 